From Software has struck gold and they know it. Dark Souls 3 being a highly anticipated game since their announcement, finally arrives to put us through a series of defeats at the hands of demons, undead, traps, and bosses. I'm Landry P and here's our review for Dark Souls 3 on the PlayStation 4. Certainly, Dark Souls has come a long way since 2011. They've done a great job of making a vivid looking world despite its dark theme. While there are areas that inevitably look the same, there's always something unique about every section of the map that's worth noting. However, visual effects are maybe a step down from the spin-off, Bloodborne. Again, compared to Bloodborne, moves aren't as flashy looking, spell effects seem more conservative, sounds though are about the same level of quality. It might be thought that the heavier focus on multiplayer is what goads developers to simplify the visuals. But even without multiple players, there are multiple instances where the frame rate chugs down. Usually, this is because of the detailed environments getting on screen like smoke, water, or multiple layers of background objects being rendered. Other qualms about the visuals are a small issue compared to the frame drop. The game's action is very sensitive with timing. Anything that hinders that makes the experience unnecessarily frustrating. However, this doesn't mean that Dark Souls 3 is devoid of bright ideas. From Software has certainly noticed how well received Bloodborne was as it decided to mix some of its pace into the game, resulting in more moments with adrenaline, testing your skills more often than your patience. Don't be fooled though, it's still as strict as your friend correcting your grammar over your social media posts. Letting you know you've done something wrong by flashing the glorious you died screen every time. Unfortunately, there were times that the cause of your mistakes would be a faulty camera due to quick movement while in close combat, which may have been an oversight during development. However, an interesting development decision for Dark Souls 3 would be the return of what many would call the MP bar, something used for skills and spells. Along with that, the healing item called the Estus Flask can be customized for recovering HP and MP. This opens up an entirely new dimension for tactical uses and customizations, especially for PvP. Dedicating more for healing lets you last longer, but restoring MP lets you do more spells as well as the new feature for our fighters, Weapon Arts. While the new system adds depth to the game, they also reduce complexity by doing away with armor upgrades and simplifying how mechanics like item repair and use work. This is another welcome change as it eases the technical learning curve for those new to the game and allows them to again focus on playing well rather than relying on numbers. This doesn't mean that From Software has completely changed their recipe for success though. The level design goes back to intertwining paths. Though it's not as intricate as the first game, it does give you enough to keep exploring all the areas, be it a boss, a new shortcut, a nifty treasure, or just another death trap. As for bosses, some may say that the current roster doesn't really bring anything new. We may be inclined to agree to a point, as some of them clearly aren't as polished as the others. One might think that fighting a giant skeleton would always be more satisfying than fighting a generic soldier. This time, that's wrong. There are still those bosses though, that would get you so salty with frustration and simply beating them grants you a unique sense of satisfaction. It only goes to show that you don't always have to make something different or new to make something good. Another good thing that Dark Souls 3 did compared to its predecessors is telling the story, making it much easier to follow. NPCs are easy to understand and you actually know what you're doing. They don't overdo it either, so it's great. In case instant action is your thing, the title gives us a number of online features that fans will be more than happy to welcome back. Bloodborne's PvP clearly tried something different and failed. Dark Souls 3, on the other hand, goes back to what works to scratch that itch for great PvP. Summoning and invading returns to older, more effective mechanics. Matching is also tweaked to make opponents you face be more or less on equal footing. Password matching makes private sessions for PvP and co-op entirely possible as well. So far, lag has not been an issue with more than three players in the same game session. Certainly, From Software knew that PvP was going to be a big deal in Dark Souls, and boy, did they come prepared. Finally, the note system, which has been persistent throughout the series, is also a source of helpful clues, or a laugh if you fall for someone's mischief. Likewise, you can also tell others of an ambush lying ahead, 
or you can tell them there's nothing to fear and there's treasure to be found. You can be part of that fun. The third and claim to be final installment of the Dark Souls series can't be taken as anything but the pinnacle of all the games. The developers have taken to heart the lessons they've learned developing all the other titles and have attempted to put it all together. The most charming part about Hidetaka Miyazaki's Final Souls game is where there's a lot of added bells and whistles and they never forgot that they actually wanted to make a fun game. While there are some technical issues that we believe should be addressed with Dark Souls 3, the planning and execution of content keeps you coming back for more. How well they've refined the core mechanics of the game in combat and with online features guarantees that there will be a community playing this for a very long time. The game's reputation for difficulty might possibly scare away new players, but those who have played any title under the genre and was left wanting more must not pass up on the grand finale that returned gamers to facing masterfully crafted challenges. Dark Souls 3 on the PlayStation 4 scores an impressive 4.3 over 5. While this game was reviewed on the PS4, it is also available on Xbox One and PC. Praise the sun, that's our review. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to visit our website to see all sorts of gaming and geekdom we cover. Also hit subscribe to receive updates on our latest videos. The next one coming up is Gundam Breaker 3 for you mecha fans out there. Also, you can check out some of our previous game reviews by clicking the smaller windows here and here. Again, this is Lendropy and we will see you next time.